In a quiet village, nestled between the whispers of the wind and the secrets of the earth, lived an old man with a peculiar tale. His life was fading, like the last ember in a midnight fire, and with him a secret that could change lives forever. This wasn't just any secret, it was one buried deep, not just in the ground, but in the very essence of his legacy. The old man had four sons, each more reluctant than the next to embrace the day's toil. As the shadows of his life grew longer, the old man's worry for his sons deepened. They, on the other hand, clung to the hope that fortune would one day fall into their laps without effort. Seeing the end of his days approaching, the old man summoned his sons. With a voice as frail as autumn leaves, he spoke of a hidden treasure. Somewhere beneath our land, he whispered, lies a treasure chest brimming with gold and gems, waiting to be claimed. The sons, sparked by visions of gold, were suddenly all ears. The catch, however, was as cunning as it was simple. The old man confessed he couldn't recall where the treasure was buried. The land was vast, and his memory, clouded by time, offered no clues. With those words, he closed his eyes for the last time, leaving behind a mystery cradled in the folds of the earth. Driven by dreams of riches, the sons began to dig. Day after day, they turned the soil, their hands growing calloused, their brows sweaty. The land was stubborn, the treasure elusive. They dug every inch, yet found nothing but the embrace of the empty earth. In a twist of fate, their shovels struck something unusual, not gold, but a spring of water, clear and fresh. A passerby, wise to the ways of the world, saw the potential in the water-kissed soil. He suggested they use the land to cultivate crops. Reluctant but without options, the sons planted seeds, the first true work they had ever done. As weeks turned to months, the once barren land transformed. It bloomed with vegetables and flowers, a tapestry of green stitched with vibrant colors. The market welcomed their produce and their pockets swelled with honest earnings. In the sweat of their brow and the toil of their hands, the sons found the real treasure. It wasn't buried in the ground, but planted in the act of work itself. They realized then what their father had known all along. The treasure was the land's potential, unlocked by hard work and perseverance. And so the sons learned that fortune favors not those who wait, but those who wield the plow and sow the seed. They discovered that true wealth is not something one finds, but something one creates with effort and sweat. In the end, the old man's secret was simple yet profound. Hard work always pays.